founding member, member of one of the most successful girl groups in music history. I'm talking about Destiny's Child. <laughs> Winning multi platinum artist, and her new album is called Talk a Good Game. Please welcome, for the very first time on The Wendy Show, Kelly Rowland. This is your first time being here. I and I, I kept questioning my staff. This is our fourth season. We talk about you. I've talked to you through the TV so many times. I can listen to this woman talk all day. No, so look at me. <laughs> first, so many times. No. I'm sorry. So look, first we're gonna start with the shoe cam. Okay. I'll, if you place your feet. I love the uh -huh. shoe cam. Gorgeous. <laughs> I love the heel detail down low. Thank it's you. good. Thank you. So. Wig or weave, it's gorgeous. Oh, this right here is one of my girls. <laughs> that, would be, that would be code talk for wig. Absolutely. I call mine my girls my, too. They're my girls. I, I have, I don't know how many, I think I've lost count. Yes. But I love them, they're just a little hat. That's and you put great. them on. Yes, yeah. and they look great. Do you know what I find, because you mentioned hat, when you have a wig on, do you also enjoy wearing a hat? I find yes. hats. Oh, you do? Yes, especially on a really bad hair day. You know, sometimes, you know, when the hair just start getting a little... Just, that's other. when you swap one wig out for the other, though. Mm, so unless you done worn all of them seven days of the week, oh. and then you might need a little hat to just cover yes. it, and then the bottom still looks cute. I do understand. I know y'all looking at me like I'm crazy, but I just have it down to a science. It, it's, it's wig talk. <laughs> but listen, congratulations. Congratulations on you. X Factor. Thank you. Thank you. You know, Kelly, I um, originally heard that you had gotten fired from the UK X Factor. No. So I was looking at your side eye through the TV when I said, now you're going to come over here and be on X Factor. They fired you. No. But I understand that we were wrong here on Hot Topics. So clear that up for us. No, um, basically, I just wanted to get into the studio after I finished up the first X Factor. Yeah. and. It wasn't the right time to do it. In the UK? Yeah, and um, it was, I just wanted to be back in the studio again, making music, and that's good. exactly what I did, hence Talk A Good Game, so. Good. Yeah. So now, so now you're ready for US X Factor. Yes. Which I think all those judging uh, chairs on all the judges shows, I've always said that's a really terrific job. You get a few million dollars, you know, you have a schedule where yes. you're sitting, uh, yes. you know, and, and it's good. And yeah. you're working with three uh, female judges. Yes. And Simon. Simon is wonderful. And I heard that we both have something in common. You think he's sexy. I do. As do I. This is my first time saying it. I, uh, <laughs> were you embarrassed before to say it? A little, it? a little. But I've been waiting for somebody to have that in common. No. With me. I'm like, I just think he, like, he walks in the room and he keeps doing this, like, wink thing at you. you like, boy. <laughs> Don't you do that. I'm telling you, I, I, like, I was a little <laughs> embarrassed to say it also yeah. until I just said, you know what, somebody's got to start the bandwagon. I'm telling you, you have to see Simon close up to understand, or if you don't see it through the TV, and that tuft of hair. Yeah, well, well do, I don't do you, see do any you hair. You don't like the hair? I don't ever see any hair. It's more so, I can't wait till you sit next to him and he just starts winking at you. Oh, and yeah. You're going to be like, oh, you yeah. better sit down somewhere. Yes, yes, he's yeah. very attractive. Yeah. All right, now let's talk about your um, album, mm -hmm. Talk a Good Game. Yes. What a sexy cover. Thank you. Let's look at that. Okay, so there you are. Now, if you don't mind me analyzing a little too hard, don't I don't remember hard. your breasts being that big. No, they weren't. D you got the implants. I did. Thank you for being honest. I did. I am very, I'm very honest about that. The only reason why I'm honest about that is because I think that so many women inquire about it, and I think that so many people are jumping to surgery nowadays, and I think it's important that you take the time, understand what you're getting yourself into, yes. be healthy, you know, get everything done properly. Yes, yes, You know, so properly. you're not just going in there blindsided. Yes. You know? Did you get under the muscle or over the muscle? Under. Under the muscle. Yes, they Me look too. smarter. Me they too. Look, they look cuter. And not only that, they, they stay up a lot longer since 1994, and they're still nice. good. Nice! They're still good. Honey. So, do you enjoy your nakedness more? Um, 
I enjoy being braless a lot more. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Yes. But not for everybody, right? Yeah, not, not for everybody. Right. And, you know, sometimes I think the tune in Tokyo situation kind of. Yeah, out. their headlines oh. uh, come on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now in the song Dirty Laundry, and everybody's talked about it, um, there was a line where you said something about how you felt rage over Beyonce, Beyonce's success. Mm -hmm. Um, can you explain? Basically, in that time, this was years ago, by the way, that all of this happened uh, with Dirty Laundry, but years ago, I was in Did a place... Did you write the song years ago? Me and Dream sat down, we had a conversation, and it was a conversation that he put into lyric form. Okay, go ahead. So he says we both wrote it, and I agree with that. But um, basically, it was a time where it was just a... I was growing, I was young, I was making so many decisions by myself, especially coming away from the group, wanting success by myself away from Destiny's Child. And that's basically what that was. You know what I mean? I think that when you grow up in front of people, in front of the world, yes. everybody looks at everything under a fine-tooth comb, you know? And, and it's just... Yes, we know. Yes. It's <laughs> called Hot Topics. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so it was just me going through all of that and being young. Yeah. yeah. By the way, do you know that I have called you one of the most beautiful women in the world? You did. Yeah, I have. I, I've, said it, I've said it right here on the show. This is before I knew you were coming or anything like that. Thank I just you. think you're good. Um, good. Now, in the song, you said something very shocking. I, was, I wasn't as shocked that you said that you were raging for Beyonce's success. I, I wasn't shocked for that. But what I was shocked about is that you were in an abusive relationship. I was in a relationship wow. that was so hard on me. How many years? It was a long time. It was about three and a half, maybe four years. Really? Um, and nobody knew about it, of course. Uh, like I, mean, I said, like, you'll never know. Yeah. In, in the song, I make that very clear. But I was just, uh, even thinking about it is just so crazy. You know what I mean? That I could actually think of, not think even more of myself in that time to get out of it. You know yeah. what I mean? And I think that's what is so important about Dirty Laundry to me is because I wanted young girls to know if they are in these relationships, See? they gotta get out. See, you're a sharer and that's good. Can I just ask you before we go into the break, yes. was it physical abuse? Like, was he punching you in the head or was it mental abuse? I'd Neither one not, is good. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not get into the details of okay. it. Okay. Because I don't think that's important. To me, the most important thing was sharing the message, yes. telling young girls that this is real and letting them know I'm human. I've made bad mistakes, good decisions, bad decisions, yep. and we're, I'm human at there the end go. of the day, even though all of this is nice and human. We like you. We like you a lot. <laughs> Up next, everybody, we're going to talk to Kelly about her dating life and find out about a possible Destiny's Child's reunion. <laughs>so you're gorgeous and beautiful and I want to know about your love life oh gosh oh wait wait before you go into that I just want to clear one thing up okay I never had rage against my sister it wasn't that that was the line in the song that was yeah but it was I was in rage of all the things that I was going through oh the decisions I got it. that I was making things like that yeah. you know what I mean so the song is about me yes. love anything sorry I just had to clear that up yes because I love my sister and we all do okay <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Are you in love? I am. <laughs> dating? I am dating. Do you love him? I do. I do. Do you want to get married one day, maybe? I do want to get married. I feel like I'm missing out. I really, really do. I'm missing out on love well, and you're young. You're marriage. How old are you now, Kelly? I'm 32 now. I mean, your eggs are still good, and you've got a, a beat more time. <laughs> this is what I was telling you through the TV. You know I talk about the count. <laughs> and you know she was my number one count person. When I found out that you were over mm. across the pond uh -huh. with the X Factor, I said, she needs to meet a count. A, a count? <laughs> what is a count? Okay, better than just any man. Okay. A count is an older man. He's at least 60 years old. He's already had his kids, and he's already been married a couple of times. Look, look at me. Okay. You will always be the young, cute, chippy to him, and he will treat you... Oh, and he has to have an accent. He's definitely not from Jersey. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and he's got lots of luchi. So while you're out Luchy. making while, while you're out making music and mm -hmm. things like that, you always know that no matter how your career goes, you got a pillow of money to fall back on. <laughs> the count. <laughs> but so this fella is not a count. He's from here. Uh, in he's just a good guy, and I'm just very happy 
above anything. Here's what I was shocked about you, Kelly Rowland. What? I, now, you know, because the first time we met, I was on the radio and stuff, and mm -hmm. you know, I did like hot topics on the radio. Mm -hmm. I, as nosy as I was, uh, as I was, I never knew that you were engaged in the oh. past. Yeah, been there, done that. X talk is X talk. Don't want to talk that. So you don't even want to talk about mm -mm. it. It's not worth talking about. Yeah. I'm sorry. It, <laughs> Somebody but, said, ooh. But let me just. But, <laughs> but wait, it's not. But we don't have to talk about it, but let me just tell you one thing, okay? It, it was a football player, and she, like Carrie, do you remember that episode on Sex in the City when Carrie he, took the magazine cover? He don't need all of and, that. We'll talk later. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, so you, you and Michelle and Beyonce, mm -hmm. when you get together, mm -hmm. and I'm sure it doesn't happen much because everybody's busy, and now you've got two jobs. You're promoting an album and the X Factor yes. you're doing, it's, which starts in the fall. Yes. But when you do get together, mm -hmm. What do you love to do, the three of you, the most? Eat. You, you we, are I'm girl. telling you, we are Southern girls. Of course, Michelle's from the Midwest, but I swear this girl just, uh, thank God for her. She just completed the formula. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for always bringing my girl Michelle. But we love to eat. I remember one time um, they were doing this thing, and for the credits at the end of the show, we mentioned food every single time. So it was like, ooh, girl, I want a, a turkey neck. Ooh, I want some greens. Ooh, I'd be glad if I get a sandwich. Can uh, somebody pass me a pickle? Neck. Can I get some ice cream? Like, we were asking for so much food. Yeah. So when we get together, it's all about food. So then you're like the rest of us. Yes, yes. Does, um, I know Baby Blue is doing a little bit of talking, forming a few words now. What does she call you? Kay. 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 So cute. So cute. <laughs> Destiny's She's Child. She's so gorgeous. She's a very beautiful baby. <laughs> is Beyonce pregnant again? Stop it. Okay, just... <laughs> I just figured I'd ask. Stop it. No, look. Um, we enjoyed seeing your reunion Thank at the you. Super Bowl. That was so much fun. It was fun to it was watch. So much fun. Is there any chance that we'll be seeing that, but in album form? We haven't talked about it. Yeah. We get together. I just saw B the other day. I'll be seeing Michelle next week in LA. Um, we talk all the time, but when we bring up conversation, it's never about an album. Yes. <laughs> and when I reached out to them about the record for my album, Talk a Good Game for You Change, which is a record that's on there, yes. they were in the studio like within the week and got it done. And we got in the studio, finished up the record, they sent it back to me. And I said, oh my God, we sound so good together. I love that. And you forget, you know what I mean? Even after Super Bowl, like that was a whirlwind. It really it was. It happened so fast. We rehearsed for months. Beyonce for, rehearsed for months. Yes. She worked her butt off for that. She killed it. And it was just so great that we all got up there together, but it happened like this. Yes. So well, months of rehearsals was seven minutes. It, but it looked great. And, and we really enjoyed conversation with you. Thank we. you. I did, but I, I know you did too. Thank you.